Hello guys and welcome back. So today I'm back with this elevator that I made recently. And I in this video I'll explain how this elevator works. So this elevator actually based on something you might see here and here which is a quite common elevator in Minecraft on YouTube of course that is this design players need to stand right in in between these two blocks and press button to be pushed up and the next one and the next one and the next one and the next one so this is the elevator but sadly it's kind of can not afford slime blocks because slime blocks as you know you can push it like this you need it or yeah you can't, you can't just stick anything next to it because it will move it and even you are that lucky you probably can't move much just with the exception of this you can push blocks like this but it seems not quite logical so as um, a structure of a slime block can be freely pushed, I guess, like this. Can be freely pushed and with sticking to other blocks and even a little bit more is quite okay. I think the maximum volume of it should be around 13 blocks in the canvas. This is for four and a three so this is 11 and I guess it's still okay if I add two more that's not okay if I add one more then it's okay so this I guess is 12 13 blocks so <coughs> in the design I use 10 blocks so it's quite okay but as I mentioned, slime blocks cannot just be pushed like this and it will just make a mess of this. Yeah, ton of mess. So and and you can't even fix it back easily. Like yeah. This is here. Now that should go like this. This is the elevator that can work. Probably with the players and I guess Mark also. Yeah, so this does not work because um, it will try when, when a slime block is trying to be pushed up by this piston and this piston will try to be pushed up as well as it is sticking and this one also and things like mass will happen so something you need to notice about slime blocks when pushing them up is you can put something that a tile entity or something that's too heavy or too OP that you can't even push them and it will be pushed yeah and things will be stick so this is how the slime block works and in this case it's actually quite hard to do so um, the tile entity actually includes um, the extended piece I guess the standard pieces can be created. Um, yeah. Oh, it's 
part. Let me see. Maybe now I should do this and um, I mean, surf the play. I guess I can do this. Yeah. This creates an expanded piston. Mm, like this. Well, this creates a bucket piston. I like that. Noise. Oh, uh, I guess I can create a an expanded piston like this. Um. Yeah. Oh. Anyways, um, an expanded piston can be divided into two blocks. One is the piston arm, which is the tire entity, and one is the piston body, which is also a tire entity. So actually, when when a slime block try to be, um, get to be pushed. Um, it will just ignore them and it will just success. So how I did here, let me copy it, was um, this is the slime platform. By the way, why do I use two? Is because that um, as if the player is two blocks wide, then you can just stand anywhere in this area because you're too fast and thing can push you up. But in Minecraft, your player is one block wide, and um, with slime blocks, you can put structures up and building your body, you can stand anywhere. So, um, for example, this is slime platform that is usually used. Or slime, slime blocks need to be connected to be a structure and things should be as well. So um, here is the slime platform and what I did was I powered all the pistons before they are pushed out. So I powered all the pistons before they are pushed out. Then I removed the rest of the block for the first one that is going to push the platform up. Then I activate this one and do this and like this. I need to do the whole thing like this. So same for this one. And same for this one. And same for this one. Same for this one. Yeah. So so the whole structure can be pushed up and um, these slime blocks can act as um, the, the supporters of or the branches of the platform. So in the same way if we rotate this upside down I guess uh, we will get
I wish it worked for you. So here is the, the thing, if I do not power this PC right here, then including the structure, um, then I mean piston counting as a block will be included like a structure and it will be pushed at the same places and if it is um, pulled back um, because there is 1 to 12 blocks right here so it can't be pushed or pulled so it will just be pressed and uh, yeah so let's so what we need to do is so first thing is that we need to power all the pieces that are going to push the platform directly and after we power that those pieces then we power one of them and extend it out and push it and do what it needs to do and power it and do this and do this and do this yeah. Yeah. so this is the whole process and it is quite complicated and um, I'll do a few of the parts yeah, of course you can put three slime blocks here, but when things are getting pushed up like this, you will get bounced up. Yeah, so it's not very well advised. So I'll put three blocks here, and three blocks is maximum, I guess. And you can push put one right here, and you can stand here, and you won't be bounced like too high. So. Um, this is what I I used, so let me just build something here. here. So let me fast forward this. So yeah, after I've built this, I think it could be working and you guys will start to understand what's happening in this structure right here. So yeah, let's put a villager here and let's see him dance. That's not the idea. So as you can see, the villager isn't quite close into this, sadly. So, what I've made was kind of like this. At least, um, in this one. Let's see what this one 
Yeah. Pause. That was much better for the guys than right there. Right here. As you can see, even he fell all the way down, he didn't die. So I guess this is quite the um how the thing works. I guess. So let's do it with maybe like this. I guess it will still work. Yeah, let's try it. Yeah, so even with something like this, it will still work. Yeah. So I guess that's it for this tutorial. And I hope you guys all enjoyed it and um, understood what was the mechanics behind this giant structure and of course this one. So before we end the episode, let's write this. Thanks for watching. This is the last time. Yeah. Bye bye.